In this video, we are going to be looking at how to embed a PDF file into your content or announcements or anywhere else that you see the Rich Text Editor or the WYSIWYG. So in order to do that, we're first going to need to upload a PDF and then we're going to copy some embed code and do actually a little bit of HTML editing. So um, first of all, just note that we could actually um, upload a PDF file and create a link here quite easily. And we've gone over um, how to do that already. Um, so the difference between what we're going to be doing now and that is if we just made a link, they'd have to click on it and uh, it would either download or open it up in another tab. When you embed it, it's actually going to appear right within here. They don't have to click on anything. You'll actually be able to see that PDF file. So the first step that we need to do here is actually just insert the link, right? So the first thing we're going to do is just insert that PDF file from our computer. So we're going to go choose file. And I'm just going to use our semester quick start guide that we have already made. So there it is. Um, again, I accidentally clicked on choose de destination, but if you want to put it in another destination in the course files, you can do that. So we're going to upload that. And again, oh, it says there's one already there. I'm just going to overwrite the existing file. No problem. And we're going to put our link text, which is quick start so this link is actually not going to be there anymore when we're done it's just there so we can get the address of that file so there's the link now again that's just a link it's not embedded so in order to embed it this is what we're going to do now we're going to go to actually this lesson within the brightspace for teachers course the embedded pdf file and right here is the html code you're going to need so you're going to highlight all that, right click and go copy. And it's nice if you have these open in different tabs, it works really easily that way. So I'm going to now go back to where we're trying to embed it. And I'm actually going to click on here, which is the HTML editor itself. So notice that we have um, just, it looks like some code here, but this is actually that link right here that we already um, inserted. So what I'm going to do is go to the end of that line and make a little bit of space. And I'm going to paste that embed code that we just copied from the other course here. Now notice the fire file URL goes here inside those quotes. And then notice up here in the link, what we need is actually there already. So uh, in the link, it has this href, and that just means the URL that it's going to be looking for. So we're going to go there. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it right there. We're going to click OK. And there it is. So now we have embedded that quick start guide. We can delete that link now. Click Save. And now we have that PDF actually embedded. So the students no longer have to click on it to see somewhere else, to go somewhere else to see it. They can actually view it right within your course content. All right, so that is a way that you can embed a PDF file right within your course content.